Hi, welcome to IBM Spectrum Protect version 8.1.1. Today we're going to go over the new cloud storage option, which allows you to configure cloud container storage pools to use IBM Cloud Object Storage with the S3 API. Previous versions had on-premise implementations managed through IBM Cloud Object Storage. 8.1.1 introduces the S3 interface for off-premise implementation when it's configured and managed through IBM SoftLayer. Let's take a look at how that's done. First, go to Storage, Storage Pools. Then click on the plus storage pool. Give the storage pool a name. In this case, we'll call it Blue Mix Cloud Container. Blue Mix is another name for SoftLayer. Enter a description for this new storage pool and click Next. This will be an off-premise cloud, so click Off-Premise Cloud. First, you want to enable encryption so that all the data stored on the cloud is encrypted. Next, you'll want to select the IBM Cloud Object Storage S3 API to SoftLayer. You will be asked for the access key ID, the secret access key, and the bucket name. In order to get those, you'll need to go out to your SoftLayer account. This is the dashboard for my account on SoftLayer. You go into Storage, Object Storage. Choose your account name. Take a look at the Show Credentials tab and expand the credentials information. And here you'll find the Access Key ID and the Secret Access Key. So first copy the Access Key ID. You'll want to paste that back into the Operations Center wizard. Now we'll get the secret access key. Once again, we'll copy that from our Cloud Object Storage interface. Next, we'll need a bucket name, and you can predefine these bucket names. Inside a soft layer, go to Manage Buckets. You'll see we already have one TSM container. If you want to create a new bucket, click on the plus sign. Give the bucket a unique name. Go ahead and click Add. And now you can copy that name and paste it back in the Operations Center. The final thing you'll need is the URL to access this. That can be found underneath the Show Credentials. And we'll go ahead and use this public URL. Do note, you will need to put HTTPS in front of this URL name. If you don't put that, you'll get an invalid URL. Go ahead and click Next. Okay, next you'll add in a directory. This is so we can first stage the information on disk and then push the data out to the cloud as the network becomes available. This will increase your performance on the backups. Okay, the storage pool has been added. Let's go ahead and look at the policies and associate this new container storage pool with an existing policy. So we'll use the legacy policy, click the configure button, and then we'll update both the backup destination and the archive destination to point to the new Blue Mix Cloud container that we just created. Go ahead and save that. and then remember to activate this. So now all of the clients associated with the legacy policy will have their backups and archives going out to the Blue Mix Cloud Container. Okay, let's take a look at our new container storage pool. We'll filter on the name Blue Mix. There it is. We'll go ahead and take a look at the details for this Blue Mix Cloud Container. First of all, we can check that the directory showed up correctly, and there is our staging directory. We can take a look at the properties. You'll see that it does show up as an S3 off-premise cloud, and we'll see the access key ID and other information. Now do notice some of that can be edited if, if you needed to. Finally, we'll take a look at the summary, and since we haven't backed up any data yet, it'll be pretty uninteresting. In summary, you can now create S3 off-premise IBM Cloud Object Storage containers. These containers reduce on-premise storage requirements and cost, simplify storage management, improve server performance, use both off-premise and on-premise hybrid storage, 
and secure your data through server-side encryption. Thank you.